Scientists are warning that something unprecedented is unfolding beneath the Mississippi River. New cracks under the riverbed are raising alarms about the stability of North America's most vital waterway. The climate crisis is also top of mind for many voters. The Mississippi River is at historically low levels, which could impact the food supply and our wallets. Scientists are issuing urgent warnings this morning as stunning new evidence emerges from the heart of America, a place trusted for centuries as the lifeblood of a continent. Something is unfolding beneath the Mississippi River, a disturbance so unprecedented that even veteran geologists admit they are unsettled. This is not just a scientific curiosity, this is a rapidly escalating threat. Unexplained cracks have reportedly opened up beneath the bed of the Mississippi River, raising concerns among experts about the stability of the area in ways nobody anticipated. What was once thought immovable and secure, the ancient foundation beneath North America's mightiest waterway is now under scrutiny. Photos circulate daily. The riverbed in places is notably exposed during seasonal low water revealing a stark reality. Deep-seeming crevices cut through what was previously solid ground, exposing layers usually hidden from sight. Each image tells a story, one of confusion, alarm, and heightened risk. Through centuries, the Mississippi has shaped the landscape, carved out histories, and been the backbone of countless communities. But today, what's being observed beneath its currents is challenging long-held assumptions. Geologists, attuned to the slow tempos of Earth science, have issued heightened alerts after cracks were discovered beneath the riverbed. While some surface cracks can be attributed to drought or low water, the persistence and size of these features, in some areas, have raised red flags. This is not considered a routine drought nor simply the result of known construction, levee work, or ordinary riverbank erosion. There are indications of deeper, less understood processes underway, and the concern is growing among those who study the river's geology. The sense of urgency is immediate. Along the banks, communities watch the water recede to expose more of the riverbed than usual. In some instances, boat traffic has been delayed or halted for safety inspections. Infrastructure is being examined, and in some locations has been temporarily closed for evaluation. As uncertainty reverberates, people ask, how can a river that has endured for millennia seem to change course so suddenly? What force, natural or otherwise, could alter the bed of a giant in such a visible way? That's the question now gripping both riverside towns and the labs of top geologists. And as we follow the story tonight, what is unfolding may well mark the beginning of a new chapter. One that challenges our trust in the ground beneath our feet. The danger appears to go deeper than what is visible. What is observed, a more exposed riverbed, surface level cracks and shifting sandbanks, may be just the earliest sign of a more persistent shift. Deep below, a tangled web of fractures is suspected by some experts to be linking and growing. According to geologists specializing in river systems, these features are not the result of sudden, overnight upheaval, but rather the cumulative consequence of long-standing geological tension and the river's dynamic nature over time. This is not a single event. It is part of an ongoing process that could affect the shape and flow of North America's iconic waterway. Scientists are not simply interested observers now. They are on alert. The Mississippi is more than a river. It's the conduit of agricultural transport, a source of power, and the cultural heartland for half the nation's population. What happens if the river's bed can no longer be counted on to support bridges, hold water, and follow its mapped course? As scientists warn, these changes could spark a cascading series of consequences for ecology, economy, and the stability of the region itself. So what's at the root of these developments under the Mississippi's current? How could cracks hidden for centuries beneath mud and water now threaten the integrity of a continental waterway? Scientists are searching for answers in a broad sweep of data, 
collected from sensors, satellite imagery, historical records, and current field expeditions. What they're seeing points towards a combination of factors. Fluctuations in river flow, natural subsidence in the valley, long-term drought, and the river's own shifting channels all play roles. Red alerts, unusual in earth sciences except for truly critical circumstances, have been issued by some researchers and regional agencies for ongoing ground monitoring. While not all experts agree on the scope or immediacy of the threat, all acknowledge the need for heightened vigilance and continued research. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to stay informed as we break down unfolding stories like this, bringing you the facts and context as they develop. The way the Mississippi is changing may impact more than just the riverbanks. The story starts deep beneath the surface, within the bedrock that forms the spine of the continent. For decades, seismic monitoring suggested this ancient foundation was relatively stable. However, recent evidence and field observations challenge this assumption, especially as sightings of substantial cracks in the riverbed surface have increased. In locations from southern Minnesota to the Delta, eyewitnesses have reported patches where water seems to drain, or where seasonal drought reveals stark fissures not commonly seen. Research teams studying the river with specialized equipment have documented features in sediment layers that seem unusual compared to historical data. They describe finding clean breaks and new depressions where there were none before. Fissures that stretch far beyond what would be expected from surface drying or riverbank retreat alone. Investigations by geological agencies have catalogued multiple crack sites over the past year, and the pattern of deformation reaches more than just the river's edge. In central Mississippi, one field researcher recounted the unsettling loss of several feet of sandbank in a single event remarking that even after decades spent studying rivers, this felt new in both its scale and speed. The situation escalates rapidly. The Mississippi's usual cycles, high and low water, flood and ebb, are familiar and well documented. But in each new site survey, some teams have found more cracks further downstream, challenging traditional response strategies. Infrastructure, levees, docks, bridges, engineered for known risks, are now being tested by unfamiliar problems. Subsoil shifts, sudden collapses, and dramatic changes in sediment distribution. As the riverbed shifts, so do the dangers and uncertainties. Barges sometimes run aground in spots where, months earlier, the navigation charts indicated safe passage. In isolated cases, entire stretches resemble lunar terrain, dried mud and sharp-edged separations particularly pronounced during periods of drought. While some of this may be attributed to reduced rainfall and cyclical weather patterns, the extent of the changes is pushing river towns and commercial traffic into contingency planning, raising concern about future stability. If this is the onset of a larger pattern, if the cracks spread or deepen, what else might lie ahead for the land shaped by this mighty river? A clue lies in the distinctive geometry and scope of the cracks observed so far. Researchers using satellite imagery and remote sensors have identified some alignment along old fault zones and corridors of historic geological tension. But what startles some is not merely the pattern, but the unprecedented size and rapidity of certain cracks. These are not just shallow splits from temporary drying. In some areas, cracks seem to extend into the subsurface potentially exposing faults that have been locked for centuries. While comprehensive mapping efforts continue, some teams have tracked one such subsurface feature from mid-river in Tennessee beneath the Arkansas bank, a zigzag fracture pattern inconsistent with previous sediment behavior. These cracks sometimes run parallel to the current, while others angle across, occasionally reshaping local channels. Perhaps most surprisingly, the cracks do not always resemble known drought damage or routine riverbank failure. These aren't the kind of features you'd expect in a simple low water year, explains one geologist. We must consider whether longer term geophysical forces are at work below the surface. Without conclusive triggers, earthquakes, landslides, or direct anthropogenic disruptions, the explanation remains incomplete, fueling debates an ongoing inquiry. As more images arrive, new reports surface of banks collapsing abruptly, 
and of obstacles in navigation channels that seem to have formed overnight. Fishermen describe snaring equipment on sudden drop-offs, while navigation officials note new hazards on river maps. Most scientists agree, while many riverbed changes result from natural cycles, the current breadth and unpredictability of the cracks and the magnitude of exposed areas are unusual. This has led to intensive monitoring and appeals for increased funding to research riverbed evolution and associated risks. Is this a reawakening of ancient geological stresses, or does it signal an entirely new regime of river behavior? The facts remain under study, but the concern is not confined to the area's natural sciences alone. With each new observation, the boundaries between academic research and practical emergency management are blurring. At this point, if you haven't, subscribe now for ongoing updates. The Mississippi story is still unfolding, and each warning carries significance for those who depend on the river's constancy. While the drama at the surface captures headlines, it's the unseen forces within the riverbed that may shape the region's future. Cracks are not merely lines in the mud, they may signal potent processes at work hidden beneath several layers of sediment and rock. To get a handle on the true scale, geologists have deployed advanced sensors, sonar, ground penetrating radar, digital levelers along key segments of the river, mapping changes in real time. Preliminary results spark as many questions as they answer. Geotechnical readings in some affected areas show that cracks can extend dozens of feet beneath the surface, cutting into older and more compacted strata. These features are not easily dismissed as mere surface shrinkage. Some experts warn that if cracks intersect with underground aquifers or unrecognized fault lines, the potential for new or redirected water channels increases. This could not only speed further erosion, but also change how groundwater flows in the Mississippi Valley. For instance, anomalies from monitoring stations in northern Mississippi suggest sudden losses of surface water into cracks, visible as rapid draining events that leave behind exposed silt and unexpected dry patches. Normally, such patterns might be written off as seasonal, but the sharp lines and suddenness of some splits suggest factors beyond typical weather cycles. Supporting evidence comes from riverbed gauges downstream, where routine, stable readings have been replaced by sudden oscillations. Dramatic fluctuations in water level, otherwise unexplained by dam operations or rainfall patterns, are drawing attention from both engineers and local officials. Field inspections have found that cracks in some areas visible on the surface also correspond with deeper cavities, causing unexpected and rapid sediment collapse. All of this has amplified concern throughout the region. If newly formed cracks divert surface water or tap into underground reservoirs, suddenly empty channels or altered water routes could disrupt transportation, irrigation and even city water supplies. In response, some towns have begun extra water quality testing, and the Army Corps of Engineers is conducting spot checks on levees and port structures for signs of subsidence or foundation instability. Community response is complex and ongoing. In the town of Greenville, residents have seen riverbanks recede more quickly than usual in late summer, with docks left higher and drier than expected. A handful of riverside homes have experienced ground shifts significant enough to warrant precautionary evacuations. In Memphis, river traffic was temporarily rerouted after surveyors found a new drop-off along a shipping lane, raising questions about what else might be lurking beneath the surface. Across the floodplain, indirect effects compound the challenge. Farmers, already dealing with drought, have found wells unexpectedly depleted, possibly due to unseen groundwater movement. Some local officials worry that the cracks could provide pathways for pollutants or saltwater intrusion during coming high water events. The unease is as psychological as it is physical. As one Delta resident described, you used to be able to trust the river to act a certain way every year. Now, you never quite know what you're going to see. Day by day, scientists are pushing for better models and improved monitoring. The situation, while not entirely unprecedented, is forcing a re-examination of what had been considered stable and safe territory. 
So how do you secure a region when even the ground can shift underfoot? Experts say the first step is understanding, through more data, flexible thinking, and openness to unexpected change. The notion of a fixed riverbed is giving way to an awareness of dynamism, and engineers are updating risk assessments as new observations come in. Where cracks multiply, smart adaptation must follow, from reinforcing infrastructure to planning for new water shortages. Geological history shows that rivers do indeed shift, but rarely at a rate or scale that catches experts off guard. Today, a convergence of challenges. From deep fractures and dropped riverbanks to potential aquifer drainage, is stressing the Mississippi's supporting systems and the communities that depend on them. Project leaders and geologists are now focusing on real-time monitoring and predictive risk modeling. A growing network of ground sensors lines nearly 200 miles of riverbank, transmitting round-the-clock data on soil movement and water table changes. This approach, though new for the Mississippi region, is already helping researchers anticipate emerging hazards and advise emergency planners on where to focus inspections. River traffic controllers coordinate with scientists to adjust navigation routes away from high-risk areas, while train and bridge officials keep a close eye on even minor tremors detected in crossing supports. In Lower Louisiana, ground crews are on high alert for evidence of sudden subsidence or stress on levee systems. Day by day, the local response is both urgent and improvisational. From farmers managing irrigation in newly unpredictable settings, to port authorities rerouting shipments, adaptation is the order of the day. For everyone, from riverboat captains to school children, the Mississippi's uncertain course is now part of daily life. Each week brings new evidence. Drone footage has documented a remarkable split along a sandbar, temporarily diverting flow to a side channel and leaving a small backwater dry overnight. Local news reported a sudden fissure near Natchez, prompting brief evacuations as officials assessed the risk to nearby homes. Sensor arrays registered a noticeable drop in ground level over hours in some zones, an unusually rapid shift. Until recently, rivers were widely considered stable, with patterns that changed gradually over decades or centuries. But the pace of current developments challenges old assumptions and underscores the need for vigilance. What could happen if cracks continue to multiply? If the foundation really is shifting beneath America's largest river? Could the Mississippi be forced, over time, into a new channel? And what would that mean for the millions of people, businesses and ecosystems dependent on its familiar path? The warning is clear, but not yet conclusive. The Mississippi is undergoing significant change and so must every community, policy, and assumption that has relied upon it. As dusk settles over the river, exposed mudflats and newly cut channels are revealed in the last light. Research teams, tired but committed, scan the banks and riverbed with sensors and cameras, determined to catch each new development as it happens. Community leaders brief residents on preparedness and urge caution, urging all to respect new drop-offs and unstable zones. Emergency advisories, once devoted primarily to flood risk, now include instructions for recognizing and avoiding areas of fresh subsidence. Residents are encouraged to stay informed through official bulletins and to stay clear of any part of the riverbank showing sudden cracks or ground shift. Through it all, the tone among scientists is one of cautious determination. The river has always had the capacity to surprise us, says one team leader. But this time, the scale and pace are something new. Our job now is to keep learning and keep sharing what we find, because the risks may change at any moment. This is the new Mississippi reality. A region in transition, communities adapting, and experts working overtime to keep pace with events as they unfold. Where cracks appear, uncertainty follows. Where the river once signaled order and renewal, it now demands vigilance. As we close, consider what it means when even the earth beneath your feet may shift without forewarning. As the Mississippi changes course and cracks emerge, we all become part of a story both ancient and evolving. Stay vigilant. Stay informed. Subscribe now to follow this story as it develops. Share your experiences and questions below. 
We want to know what you're seeing in your community and what you hope to learn next. Watch for our next update as we continue covering Earth's most urgent and mysterious changes.